probiotic compression socks are developed as a result of consultation with vascular surgeons from Australia and around the world. The data that we gained from this um, consultation led to the development of the probiotic compression socks. We overcome the, uh, the comfort level by taking into account that cotton is the most suitable apparel uh, to be used in the construction. It allows the skin to breathe, does not result in a build up of heat or ammonia, which can lead to uh, the skin condition. Nanosil has been around since the Second World War, where they used it in bandages to prevent the, uh, the start of bacteria buildup. Uh, Nanosilver technology is now incorporated a lot of medical um, devices, which has an antibacterial property. So we've incorporated nanosilver in compression socks from a thermodynamic point of view and also to reduce the incidence of um, skin disease. Variable compression improves blood circulation by pushing the blood to the outer extremities of the limbs. In other words, it stops the blood from cooling in one place. It pushes the blood to the outer extremities and on the return way, it pushes the blood back to the heart. That's a very good question. In fact, people who fly longer than one hour aviation travel should definitely wear variable compression socks. People who have um, the start of varicose veins or spider veins should definitely wear compression socks. In fact, anybody who has a history of blood circulation disorders should definitely wear variable compression socks.